guys, what's up? Uh, so what we're going to be doing in this video is uh, I want to show you guys that you can actually use the Visual Studio integrated development environment for Python development. So I think that's really an awesome thing. Uh, I do .NET development full time, so Python is just a hobby type of thing. But uh, there's no question, Visual Studio is, is the best integrated, devel integrated uh, development environment out there. They're, does a lot of things for you, like the IntelliSense is better than anything I've ever seen. So if you're really trying to get into um, enterprise level software development, and uh, even if you plan on using Python, which is you know, a lot of, by a lot of corporations not considered to be like a enterprise level language, but um, you know, it obviously can be, but um, it's in my opinion, all the more need for a great integrated development environment so that you can keep track of all your code, your classes, your methods, things like that. So um, anyway, that's what we're going to be doing right now. So uh, we're going to install the Python tools so that you can actually create a Python project within Microsoft's Visual Studio. Now, Visual Studio costs a lot of money, but you can download uh, free copies of it. And uh, eventually, you know, if you do have a company and you know you're paying, you probably end up having to pay for it eventually. But um, as far as uh, you know, Typical everyday development, especially if you're a student, then it's you know it's per free. You just get the Visual Studio Express edition. And um, I have Visual Studio 2010 installed. So um, what we're going to do is just uh, hit up Google where we go to get all of our downloads. And I'm going to do Python for Visual Studio 2010. And it pulls up right there. It's the first thing. All right, and then we just click on download. Now, the one that you're going to want to get is the MSI, so that means it installs it for you. Since I have 2010, just go down here and find uh, the 2.0 Alpha VS 2010 MSI. So click on that. This shouldn't take too long. While we're waiting on this to install, I just want to um, go ahead and give myself a little plug-in. Uh, I have this website, crowdfunding, so if you guys have any projects or anything like that, or if anybody wants to help me write an article or something, you know, I'll give you a backlink to your site or whatever. But uh, this is basically just a site that I'm trying to promote that I created in Python. Um, and uh, it's about crowdfunding, so a lot of these articles I write, but uh, it's just kind of um, you know an interesting thing I do on the side to try to... Um, you know, just keep my interest in, in the business field and things like that. So if you guys are interested, make sure you check that out. Um, it's actually titled the same thing as my YouTube tutorial channels, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But uh, I didn't really, you know, I had this noob niche name because uh, I had a bunch of uh, noob-related things because I own a company that's kind of named after that. But um, I, you know, I just basically didn't want to use another domain name. And I was like, oh, well, noob niche kind of fits what I'm trying to do. So that's why the tutorial channel and so come on windows Jesus Christ. Sorry about that delay. I got a shitload of applications running right now. I probably need to shut some down.
And while we're waiting for this to install, I'm just going to go ahead and stop. Alright, so now that we have it installed, let's just go ahead and pull up Visual Studio again. tell you man I'm rendering a video right now and it just fucking bogs down my system like like crazy it's this bastard right here rendering I ain't got patience for this Anyway, I hope y'all are doing well today. Make sure you subscribe, all that stuff, please. I love it when people subscribe. It makes me feel like I'm not completely wasting my time doing these videos. Holy shit. Uh, it's becoming apparent that I cannot render a fucking video and uh, pull up Visual Studio at the same time. Alright, so anyway, now that we've installed the Python tools, we can go to our project. And... You can wait another 10 minutes. Alright, sorry about that. So, now that we have that, you're going to look over here, you go to other languages, and we have Python. So, um, just click on Python application. And it's uh, simply hello world. So, when we debug from our Visual Studio environment, says the interpreter does not exist. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to set up Visual Studio so that it can find the proper Python interpreter. And then um, I'm also going to show you a trick in the next video, which also, because um, when you run the Python program from the command line, if you have stuff that's printing out, it's going to close immediately after it runs. So uh, there is a um, basically an option in the tools where you can leave it, uh, leave the I'll get into that in the next video. Sorry about the delay and my computer trying to render that video at the same time as I was recording it. Video that obviously isn't something I can do in the future. So thank you for bearing with me and uh, please subscribe. Thank you. Bye.